Hello and welcome to Chateau Dreams. This is our family's story of moving to the beautiful south of France to a partially renovated chateau during COVID lockdown with all of our animals. Now we're here, we will continue the restoration, we will go and interview people, we will see the sights, have a little bit of French culture and hopefully have some fun with some volunteers. Thanks very much for watching and if you enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe. Hey everyone and welcome to episode 5. In today's episode we're going to look at, gosh, going to school for the first time in France for Arthur and Scarlett, moving a billiard table, gracious, and then in French culture, the great sport of Landais cow jumping. We're going to catch up with whatever Adam is up to and perhaps go and have a look at the beach. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much. So today we have um, the trailer that can't be moved, clearly, which is one thing, uh, which we're trying to move because I submarined the X5, which is another story for another time. And here we have a giant poopy truck because we have not only one, but two apparently faucet teeth that are completely full. And in France you have something called a bac au gris, which is where all the unmentionables go that shouldn't go into the septic tank or the fos septique. And both of those are also full too. So because of the wonderful plumbing and everything else that we have here, they can't get round to the back because they'll pipes. So we have, dun dun dun, hang on, let me show you. Commando poopy truck. And Commando poopy truck is going to be doing cross country. Uh, and then we'll deliver his load to father of poopy truck and we're really hoping that this will resolve the flooding in the kitchen uh, and the dishwasher um, because everything is totally totally backed up and we've been here for seven weeks uh, with two full phosphateeks one can only imagine how many years it's been sitting there thousand euros later and the sewage was cleared. Anyway, onto the billiard room. As you can see, this is the room that was going to be the billiard room. A nice fireplace in there and totally empty. They were actually using the grand salon to house the billiard table. So we got in touch with a company from Bordeaux and after a few weeks, at the, towards the end of the summer holidays, they came to see us and started dismantling it. I couldn't believe the entire thing, including the slates, had to be taken apart. I was a bit worried, really. Anyway, there they are. There's a slate in the hallway, one of the slates, right next to the billiard room. And there are some more bits of the billiard table on the floor. Can you imagine? Anyway, yet more bits of the billiard table in the dining room. They were amazing. They put it all together and leveled the entire thing. And within a few hours, there it is in the billiard room. French culture today, I'm going to introduce you to the sport of cow jumping. This is practiced in the Lens region and has been around since the Middle Ages. The cows themselves are not harmed in any way and live out their rest of their lives in paddocks and are used for breeding. However, the same can't be said necessarily for the young people who get involved with a number of injuries that occur every year as they compete these feats. Whether you agree with it or don't agree with it, it is an aspect of life here. Points are given based on prowess and execution of the movement, whether that is somersaulting, sidestepping, or jumping with your legs tied together and feet in a beret. Summer was brilliant fun. It was full of adventure and running around with obviously, as you've seen, some quite exciting disasters. All too soon, though, it was ready to get back to school. 
Arthur had a fairly interesting haircut at the local hairdresser, as my French was so appalling. But Scarlett seemed to fare quite well in packing her bags. Scarlett was three when she went to school here in France, and Arthur was just six. Arthur spoke a smattering of French and Scarlett none at all. We'd read that it was best for the children to go to a local school and be immersed in French in order to get the best chance at being fluent or, biling or bilingual. Luckily, that seems to have worked, but I was still terrified popping them into school. They certainly didn't seem to be particularly bothered. Coffee in France is a completely different experience to coffee in England um, and in Wales. So they take it incredibly seriously and very rarely does it have any milk in, in it. Um, so I've just come to the local garage. I don't want to go back into the chateau because if I do, I'll just see loads of stuff that needs doing and I'll get distracting from the important mowing that I'm doing. So um, I grabbed a coffee from there and it is um, like treacle. It is also like rocket fuel. Once you got used to it, it's absolutely incredible. But my goodness, am I going to be wired this morning? So um, I shall do very speedy mowing. The cats are definitely making themselves at home on Salmar's bicycle. Evening, which would be great. We're going to do this one outside because I think it's more fun and the weather's nice. It was horrible last time, so now we've got nice weather. Um, and I'm not going to grow. I'm going to. I'm mowing, so I'm going to get some fuel. But I'm not going to grow the central. Sorry, mow the central pieces because we have, as you know, the world has a bit of a problem with bees and bee decline. And what we've got on there is a really valuable source of nectar. So it might look a little bit untidy, but compared to how it could be if it was all mown, but I really feel that um, we need to try and do our bit where we can, so that's why. Um, and yeah, and we're looking forward to this evening. We've invited children as well, because it's, you know, family occasion. I'm not sure how many people we're going to have, but um, in any case, it should be good fun. The bases after all. I thought we brought them, I just haven't seen them for ages. Excellent. <laughs> This is fitting plasterboard to the roof rack of the car that we didn't know exactly existed, but now we do. It's very exciting. <laughs> Ross has had to learn quite a lot about DIY since we came to France. And a lot about Renault's. Oh my goodness. I'm hoping that this isn't going to break on the way home. According to Adam, it's really important that the cardboard is faced down and then faced up where you're going to attach the ropes. So there we go. Let's see if they manage to stay in one piece. So as I said, Adam is waiting back at the ranch to fix these onto the ceiling in the little house which had, as the French say, an inundation or a flood.
Too long, man. <laughs> <laughs> but it's done, amazing. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah, and then, ready, bless you. Awesome.